Hello, my CD learners. I hope you are doing well. I am teacher Stefan. We are back again with our math lesson. And the topic is numbers. And the subtopic is fractions. So we are going to talk about fraction. Before I start, let me ask a question. Have you ever shared an orange, one orange, with your brothers? Maybe you have five or four brothers, and you have to share only one orange. How do you go about it? Yes, of course. You have to divide the orange into four parts or five parts, you see? But the division should be five or four equal parts. So that is about fraction or a cake, one cake, and you are about five or six people. How do you do that? You divide the cake into many parts according to the numbers of your friends. That is fraction. So a fraction tells us how many equal parts of a whole we have. You see? So a fraction is a piece of a whole. Look at this square here. So the square has been divided into four parts. So this is the whole square here, but the square is split up into four equal parts, one, two, three, four, you see, and here, this is the same square here, we have shaded one part, so the shaded part is one equal piece of the whole square, you see, so it's number fraction is 1 over 4. You see? When you come here, the same square, we have shaded two of the parts. So the two here and the four here is 1, 2, 3. So the whole square is into four parts. That's the point here. So the two is called numerator. You see? And the 4 is called denominator. So a fraction of two parts. The one, the number up is called numerator. And the number down at the bottom is called denominator. You see? So the 4 is the whole square. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the shaded part is the 2. You see? For us here, here we have 1, 2, 3 part that have been shaded or colored. So we call it 3 over 4 to express that fraction. 3 over 4, you know, is, it means that the whole square is being divided into 4. But we have colored or shaded 3 parts. So we read it 3 over 4. Here, suppose you have a brain and you have 7 brothers. And you have to share the bread into seven equal parts. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you see? And I have shaded only five piece. One, two, three, four, five. So I read the fraction five over seven. So the seven is a whole bread that is being divided into seven. And the five is the part that I have colored or shaded. Do you understand? That's about fraction. So a fraction is a piece of a whole. I hope you understood my lesson. I wish you good day and goodbye.